today you will find out that there is tools that allow you to script your compilation thanks to a specific language. The command make is one of them. Although it's not the only tool at your disposal, I strongly advise you to run a search on the internet and check out the other tools. And why not try and learn how to use them? Anyhow, today we're going to focus on make and make files. The command make goes along with one or several make files files. Those files will describe using a set of rules how to compile your program. So we use the command make, which will call the make file, read it, and execute it. A make file simply is the file name make file, which contains a set of rules and as well as some variables that describe the behavior the compilation must adopt. Of course, the rules will be able to comb themselves and will be able to use variables. The most important thing is to properly structure all of this is to order to reach your goal. Let's assume that our make file contains a rule clean. To call this rule, you just have to tap make clean in my terminal. You need to know that all of the rules in a make file are not there to be executed every time you use the command make. Usually, only one rule is executed and its dependencies, we'll see this later, in order to perform the actions these rules were created for. Make, make syntax is rather simple, but very powerful and we'll discover it in the next part of this course. I'm not saying this lesson on make files will be exhaustive or perfect. I just want to show you the technology and lay the most basic bases so you can get by and you will learn much more on make files by reading documentation on the internet. See you in the next video. We'll discover the basics of make file syntax.